Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are flying this fueling Airbus A320 up to Barcelona. So, just gonna hop in the cockpit here and get a few things switched on if you can see what I'm bloody doing. Uh, external power, there we go. Um, batteries, one, two, oh shit. They're on, hopefully. APU, APU master, electronic seatbelts. Emergency signs on, nav and lower lights on, strobes on, fuel pumps on, just so I can see what I'm bloody doing. Make sure everything's on full, which it is. Is that seriously on full? Jesus Christ. Right, uh, RSs, let's line those, and that looks all good. Right. Look down here, and yep, so we're at Alicante, going up to Barcelona, it's about a 40 minute flight, I did this flight last year, but it's when my PC kind of looked shit, not my PC, uh, flight sim looked shit basically, so this is basically new and improved, I lose turn the volume down there, actually no, I'll hover it around too, um, but as you can see it looks amazing, the stuff is yeah, it was caused by my 6 gigabyte VRAM buffer, so I'm actually thinking of getting the strobes and what am I on about? Right. Let's put it on the other Um I'm actually gonna get an RTX 2070 instead of a 2060, so I can run 4K textures at this airport. Um I think it'll be I think it'll just look a lot better if I do. Uh, um yeah. So it's a hundred extra pounds but I'm willing to save that for I mean it'll just be through my FPS a lot basically so it's all good right so I've just got a door open no jetway so I'm gonna go into the cockpit here <coughs> and pardon me get the fuel loaded and there we go 152 passengers brilliant and open GSX require operate jetways Ryanair jetway so one left Right, and set the parking brake. So, I uh, hope you did enjoy that gliding video I did. I mean, I kind of it was really quiet. Um, it was about ten o'clock at night, and I really couldn't be fucked to talk loudly and enthusiastically. So, <laughs> um, but I hope it did give you a brief kind of overview of it, of gliding in the sim, and it's it's really not a good, like physics based to do it in P3D however it does provide like I said a good opportunity to get roughly what the cockpit looks like um, and a feel for how to do approaches and just a few procedures if you're wanting to go on the glider pilot or something like that um, it is helpful any simulated training you do not training any simulated uh, simulating you do is useful <laughs> Um, because then you can hop in and straight know what the altimeter is, um, about speed, stuff like that. Air brake spoilers. You know half of it basically. <laughs> so let's get radio switched on here and checklist started. Now I do want to continue this series in Cockpit gliding. Cockpit preparation checklist. Um, I might do a few more videos in Both PCD. off. Like Weather specifically radar, take off, landing, supply, approach, shear. stuff like that. Um, As required. But I do want to move over to Condor uh, for my gliding, at least. Batteries. As Both on. It Electrical is really power. good. I've, APU I've on. Done it. I've APU used a simulator on a mate of mine. And Checked. the physics recall. is nearly spot on. Um, it simulates Checked. everything, basically. So Left. And Checked the position. touch moves in a different Speed direction. Brake Program where you to go, which is a really, really set nice feature. on Accubrake pressure. So, uh, what's set. the time? 6 40 in the morning. Oxygen cruise supply. Right. Set so on. FMG voice recorder. From set and on. To. Right, so we're Ground going proximity from warning system. Lima Echo Alpha on. Lima. Flight control system. Lima Echo Bravo Lima. On. And Adiers. I am. Uh, sorry, what? Checked. I am thinking about getting. Uh, fuck's sake. Sport route. I am thinking about getting Active Sky, as I know it does look really, really nice in the sim, especially the weather. 
that's especially well, that's what it specialises in. Um, but I think there could be a few improvements to weather engines and how they're developed uh, to make it more realistic. Number one. So no weather engines at the minute actually uh, sim simulate sleet Checked. or hail or anything, any panel. other type of precipitation except from rain on. and snow. Radio basically. management panel. And the way the weather engine is designed, or the weather engines that are in the sim that you can get, is it's based on a meta system. So as soon as you leave that area where that meta forecast is from, your weather will change. Um, and it is normally quite dramatic. They try to blend it, but it really doesn't look good. So there needs to be some kind of alternative they need to think of. Radio um, management panel. On. To weather radar. Make gain weather realistic. Mode. Now I was thinking they could use Checked. some 3D data from Idle. a, a engine mode website selector. like it's a cool website normal. called windy.com and they have mode. live weather radars System. and stuff Altitude like that. Reporting. I don't know how they'll do it. If I was going to go about doing it, what I'd do is I'd actually make a, a custom kind of 3D mesh where it would be like in meter, kind of meter, <laughs> meter cubed basically. And checked. So it'd be Light little director. meter cubes on. all the way from Checklist surface complete. to about 60,000 feet, or however high the troposphere goes. And and I, I actually similar to the stratosphere as well. And it would basically work on a cube by cube basis. So each cube would, from a specific data point, grab the temperature, the dew point, and the temperature and the dew point basically, that'll be it. They wouldn't grab the clouds and stuff, that'll be in a more wider area. But what it would allow uh, the simulator to do is to simulate um, really realistic transitions between rain, snow, and sleet. Now I think that's quite realistic, uh, I think that's quite a nice feature. So you could be out on the, down at uh, Aberdeen, and or Glasgow or something. And then fly up to Inverness, which is out on the 100 metres, let's say. And the rain starts to turn to sleet and then eventually snow. And I think a nice smooth type traditions would add immersion uh, to the simulator. As I think w weather is something which, in terms of immersion wise, the simulator is missing a lot. So yeah, um, I don't know how I'd actually get the cloud data and stuff. Again, I could use this website, but the actual 3D modelling of the clouds, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know where I could get that. Um, I'm not obviously going to develop it, but I, if I, I'll get a team to develop it, obviously. But um, I think that would be quite a really, uh, quite a good idea, as I have, I have already mentioned to Active Sky if you're going to add sleet and uh, hail and precipitation like tornadoes no tornadoes hurricanes stuff like that uh, they haven't got back to me yet but I, th I think it would be good I think it would be good because yeah I'll just add immersion really uh, yeah so are we taking a wrong way to I think we are what's our VRF 135. Right, that's all set and GPS lost. Do I need to align my. There you go. There you go. Right. So everything's set up now. I'm going to be boarding passengers as I speak and everything's basically good. Um, so, what I'll do now is do a little cut and I'll see you back when everything's full. Okay, so we are back here and I'm just going to close all the doors before we get going. I do press shift 4, that's it. And so GSX automatically opens the door, but doesn't close them. Um, a bit, little bit strange, I have to admit. Just a tad. Right. Let's uh, request pushback now. So, uh... Operate shit way. Undock. Confirm selection. 
and let's we'll just push back in departure. Windows and, and doors we'll go a departure closed and push locked. Back to the left. Uh, let's APU. get engine mode APU start APU just on. ready. APU bleed. There we go. Um, Set on. A oh, APU bleed's already External on. External uh, power. Disconnected and off. Disconnected and off. There we go. I might do. Heaven I might signs. do it without a checklist one day. Both on. Just one day. Uh, don't know. Thrust lever. Idle. Right. Parking brake. Do you want to push me back now? Bearer All reference. Right, yeah, nose left. No. There we go. Oh, we're setting the barrow. Set. set that. One, zero, zero, seven. Actually use One, for zero, people. zero, seven. I have to admit Check. that. Beacon um, lights. If you forget something. Set on. They won't forget it, it's AI. ATC. So. Auto. Checklist. It is very good at doing that. Um, yeah. Right, follow G6 instructions. Yep. The guys that made this airport, pilots, have done a honestly fantastic job. Um, from what we had before in FSX, which was. Euro Sims Alicante from 2012 or something. This is phenomenal. Um, it's at standard. They've set the new standard, I reckon. For they are they are a little company. They are not big in any way. They have done a job um, on the quality of the flight being. Parking brakes released. They've done that kind of quality, even better than that, I reckon. Um, yeah, on, on par with Flight Beam and F Stream Team, they never seen released. Right, so select start engine two here. Starting engine two. Yeah. I am definitely gonna buy any more scenery that they release. Uh, if they're doing more Spanish airports. I don't know what other airports they're doing. Why are you still moved out? Okay, whatever. Um oh, never mind, just talking about jetway. Yeah, if they uh, do other any, any, any other scenery, I will be obviously very interested. The only thing I found weird is I was getting six gigabytes VRAM. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, at just this airport, um, but I figure. Hang on a minute. If I buy the RTX twenty sixty, and I get Starting it, everything the FPS fine, but I'm getting started because I haven't got enough VRAM. That's gonna ruin it. Engine two is stabilized. So I might as well just get spend the hundred hundred pounds, get even better performance, but get that two gigabytes VRM extra, so I can slam the textures up to four K and not deal with any problems basically. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Any other upgrades? I was thinking not this year, next year, about upgrading to an i5 8600K. Right. <laughs> I nine ninety or nine hundred k, but I don't really know. I don't even know if I need it. I think I'll just at that point start to spend money less on actual upgrades and more on parking brakes aircraft in the sim and actual gliding flights uh, in real life. People say to me, "Why would you spend all your money?" Engine on the one is stabilized, and it's like, well, days you can't fly. This is a I can basically fly here whenever I want. Don't have to leave the house. And I can fly wherever aircraft I want. <laughs> and gliding, you have to wait until it's basically good atmospheric conditions to fly. Uh, which is most weeks in England, surprisingly, even though people say we have shit weather at all. Surprisingly, it is most weeks you can fly. Um, yes, it might be a little bit windier than normal. Or a little bit cloudier, but yeah, you can still fly. I mean, nothing, nothing's gonna, gonna stop you unless it's really windy or really raining. After star checklist. Try it. So, set for two. Selector. From, uh, set. Set. APU take off. Config. Off. APU master. Uh, off. Set max. Round spoilers. Checked and, and armed. Rudder right. trim. It. Check right. zero. Yeah. Pitch trim. Pitch trim. Oh, right. They're gonna ask me to do the controls, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Set. So I did talk Flight about two. doing some gliding videos actually. Flight full control. left. Um full right. And I will do I do Neutral. do some. Uh, there's a friend of mine. He has a GoPro and he's filmed in the glider before. Come on. Alright, let's just full up. 
where I'm doing full up, you idiot. Come on. Don't want to do it? No? Okay. Let's get back. Yeah, so I have a mate mine. And he's filmed videos in Nevada before. Anti ice. He's not. Off. Ecam uh, status. Going so Checked. Yet. Door so I, th I always thought it would be a little bit awkward Checked. filming. Checked. Received. Got instruction in the back. I just find it kind of rude. Um, that's why I'm not doing it. He doesn't like speak to the camera and stuff. Has a mic for a mod up. So that's what I would like to do. Like one of those clip-on mics. I don't know how expensive they are, but just get one of those and uh, film some gliding videos, basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure they'll do very, very well on the channel. And next year I'm probably going to hit 100 subs. Um, thing is, I don't really want to get a lot of subscribers because it feels like I kind of have an obligation when I really don't have an obligation to do any content at all. <laughs> Sounds really horrible, but um, taxing checklist. I, even, I just want to get the channel small. Exterior lights. Um, because I'm not, I don't want to. Checked. Fucking hell. Right <laughs> I don't want to. Um, Pedal press. I don't want to. Check yeah. zero. I don't want to go full time Checked. with YouTube, obviously. Auto brakes. Max. Um, Take off data. Reviewed. But what FCU. I would like, I would, I would like it as a channel, Light which I can just come back, film Checked. content. Check. Get a few radar, reviews on my videos. Power supply. Go off for a couple of months, film Wind another shear. video or whatever. Um, Checked and set. I just kind of do it like that. So I have kind of no subscribers Checked. that will no blue. watch Checklist my content, uh, even if I give it breaks. So I think that's kind of a thing that not many YouTubers do do. Um, but I think it's quite a good idea because even at 56 subs, I've gotten more stress over even flying in the sim because I feel like I'm obliged to record my videos um, and then some people want me speaking them some people just like the time lapses so I'm kind of stuck in the middle I don't really know what content to produce that's why I'm doing a split of time lapses um, and kind of speaking videos like these now when I get 60 subs I might do it I might just I might just do a stream, but I don't know what to do. Just 60 subs, why not? <laughs> just a 60 sub special. Um, or I might just, I might let I might borrow the GoPro. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's not a big milestone, but I still find it big. 60 people like to watch my stuff. All YouTube set. Things as they say about a million. 16 million. Not that different. Right, so. This is my first take from Malakansky actually. And, uh. Looking very, very nice indeed. That old terminal there, you've got all the aircraft parking up. I don't know what's wrong with the AFCAD. Um. But that's actually a Jet 2 hub. Um. And uh, people are wondering where I got my name from. Jet 2 guy. It's used to be Monarch 2 guy. No, it used to be Monarch guy. And then, um, well, we all know what happens to Monarch. Flight attendants, yeah. seats for so, uh, <laughs> um, Before takeoff checklist. Jet 2 guy. Which else? Brake like sad. Belt, Checked. Brake fans. Off. Yeah, fine. Engine mode selector. It's kind of short, catchy. Check normal. TCAS. And it's not long and complicated to remember. So T A R A tilt above. Exterior lights. Turning onto runway ten. Ready for a morning Exterior departure. Exterior lights. Current outside temperature On. is seventeen degrees Celsius. Sliding May, table. Eight hundred fifty temperatures is fifteen degrees. Stowed. Here we Stowed. go. Oh, Checklist bolt. complete. Sorry about that. Fifty percent and bad flex. Take off. 
Man, flex, SRS, and runway. Check. Thrust set. So, yeah, rolling. Might have filmed it right in video. Knots. Check. Because it's sound very fucking depressed to me. We'll see. Right. Nearly at rotate. B1. B1. Rotate. 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 Slow gradual rotation off the ground. Uh, positive brake, gear up. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. Navigation. Gear slow, Check. Uh, Exterior uh, lights. Archer now, out of Alicante. And make us uh, slow left bank, left bank and climb out. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Gear it up. Lights off. Actually, well, I'm going to take a screenshot right now. I did take a screenshot earlier. But I don't know. I have to pick. <laughs> I have a couple to pick from. And I should be in the cockpit right now. <laughs> so they're taking pictures. Right. So I'm about to approach uh, plus thru climb thrust reduction altitude. There we go. Speed check. Climb thrust. Climb thrust. thrust. Okay. And I don't know if I want to even turn the autopilot on. I might fly it manually. Mm. Yeah, why not? Um, I was looking through Project Fly, and there's achievements, so I've only got 8 out of 20. Um, and one of the achievements is uh, Diversion. I don't know how to perform a Diversion in the sim. There was only one time I was actually close to it. I was at Orlando, and I was, yeah, I was in the A321, I was going from the... Flap uh, Zero. I think, I think New York. Flaps zero. And the after takeoff checklist. I got to Orlando, it's on my approach. And it started selector. heavily raining. Check normal. Um, Spoiler. It was a lot of crosswind. Disarmed. So at the first time, Check retracted. I, I had to I touched gear. and go basically. Gear up, when lights off. Um, Exterior lights. Because it kind of blew me off the ground. Checked. I think I, think, uh, I actually Ice. experienced wind shear. Both on. Um, Anti-ice. Off. Then I went around. Set. Did a cat three major. landing basically. One, zero, zero, um, seven. One zero yeah, zero seven. Full, uh, Check. Checklist auto landing, basically. So yeah, that, that was the only time I was close to diversion. But if I got active sky, I think the weather conditions would be a bit more a bit more realistic. Auto so on. The diversion would be more needed, basically. Um, so yeah, just switch your pilot on here. Time is 7:03 a.m. with summarizing news. Transition altitude. So Arrow here. reference set and cross and, check. Uh, check. Switched to time lapse. Not time lapse. I don't know what the fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for watching uh, this climb out, and I'll see you on Friday.
So we are currently at 4,300 feet, descending through the clouds uh, into Barcelona. So I'm just going to take off the descent rate a little bit more. And uh, just texting someone, sorry. Um, just cut it. Um, yeah, anyway, so passing through 4,000 feet now, set the pressure up. Uh, one thousand. Two uh, one thousand. What? Not a thousand feet. Don't know why the visibility is zero. Fucking so much. Let's leave it at four thousand. Thousand. I'll put three thousand eight hundred. Anyway, I'll leave it at that because I can see the ground. It looks like we're quite low. Yeah, we're very low. Anyway, so set the zoom to 20 nautical miles, and not really much you need to do now. Got Barcelona to our right here. And you might be able to see the puppies. I can. Anyway, it's just loaded in there. Uh, yeah, so set your spoke to medium already, and everything looks good. Uh, Flanning, basically. Yeah, uh, this scenery is in the V4 version, it gives some custom scenery around Barcelona. It <coughs> Pardon me. In uh, Orbex, you can get uh, cityscapes. And there's one for Barcelona, so it basically makes the city would look really realistic. Which is really nice. It's really nice. I've seen them. They do look kind of fantastic. Can't lie. Uh, I've set the descent rate to 200 feet per minute now. Which I'll put it at 400. Um, just get ourselves back to 3,000 feet. we go, and you know what? I'm going to increase the speed even more to 200 knots. Yeah, I'll put 200 knots, and I'll take I'll take one notch of flaps. Yeah. Um, right. So I want to I want to put down to 2,000 feet now. At minus 500 feet per minute. Just want to be on the steady track to get uh, the glow uh, glow -clizer. glide slope. Uh, I can say that glow -clizer. It's a mix of the two words. <laughs> uh, right. Here we go. Uh, set the zoom to 10 now and we are all ready uh, the approach checklist is just about to start approach checklist there you go we don't know if you can hear it probably e not status. checked uh, yeah. sliding so tables stowed stowed cabin sign I don't know what terminal fueling park at checked uh, probably the north one Nap accuracy checked yeah, I'm, I'm pretty Bearer sure it is reference. the north one Check. So just make a right. One zero zero six. Ah, I don't even one know what zero zero six. 
pretty sure it's Check. 2 5 right. Yeah, 2 5 right. Exterior uh, no, light. 2 5 right, so we'll make a like right hand turn, exit, off. Exterior lights. Exterior Checked. lights, they're already on. Checking the Flaps 1. Flaps 1. Yeah, bullets. Right. Um, don't need to do anything. Flight attendants, prepare for landing. Yeah, I really like landing at Barcelona. I don't know why there's so much haze around that. A lot of haze. Yeah. FPS is good at the minute. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know if I need to age of that descent right. I would do a visual, but it's too much low cloud. Too much low cloud. Right. Mm, I'll put the localizer on now. There you go. I don't think, is it going to make the full turn now? I guess it is. Uh, yeah, so that'll just get us lined up nice and early. Uh, all good for landing, basically. So, the, the gliding videos in real life now. Um, I am a couple months now of going solo. I am approaching it quite fast. It's kind of scary. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, so, I'm probably going to wait till next year once I've got confidence with the aircraft. Stuff like that. I'll take the camera up with me. Don't know if I'll be on the speak. Two thousand five hundred. Or speak edited because I don't know how much if I can concentrate because I have to remain concentrated or I'm just gonna fuck something up and end up killing myself. Um, so I'll see basically uh, how well how 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 kind of feel, how safe and I feel in the cockpit on my own. I'm sure I'll be able to do it, just not straight away. Uh, yeah. Right. So I want to lower the speed to 180 knots now. Gauge approach mode. Gauge Second auto pilot is on. Actually, I don't even know. I only need one auto pilot. Slope captured. There you go. 180 knots. Gear down. Gear down. Localizer alive. And um, set flaps to. Speed check, flaps two. Arm oh, spoilers. And we're all good. We are activating, yeah, we are on the guy slow. Flaps three. Speed check. I want to check how three. close we are to the wrong one. I think we're quite close. Flaps full. Speed check, flaps four. Speed check, flaps four. Oh, bollocks. Right. Ooh, lovely. Oh, even lovely are. <laughs> Landing right. gear. Down, Down and locked. locked. Three greens. Ground Three spoilers. Greens. Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Medium. Ooh, right. Exterior lights. Don't even, On. Don't even disconnect. Go I don't even see the fucking altitude. number. Right, I think it's set now. Set. Landing right. memo. We are getting close. Checked. No blue. Checklist yeah, I did this flight about a year ago. Localizer uh, captured. Oh, it's, it just showed the big difference how much a year makes. Yeah, I mean, that's an FSX, everything looks kind of laggy and bad. Actually, no, I do have this PC. FSX is so I'm not surprised. Right, yeah, I'll take a visual from now. Autopilot 1000. Hang on. Right, finally, visual. Right. So I'm just like the aircraft to kind of follow the approach now, making minor corrections. I'm talking like this in the, <laughs> in the glider tutorials. Right. No. I have a fucking nice flying airbus. I need the sim. Uh, okay, now the speed is just... Yeah, visibility is just dropped. I'm pretty sure this is unsafe at the minute. Who gives a fuck? <coughs> if it's on the ground, it's on the ground. Safe landing. Happy days. Light slope. Right. 500. Light slope warning. Fuck you. Light slope. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Light slope. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Light slope. 400. Light slope. I wish you could just shut that fucking GPS to US thing up. Or whatever it stands for. 300. What am I doing? Small corrections. But it's lagging, it's not going to be good. But it's not. 200. Light slow. 
One hundred. Flight slower. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Retard. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Ground uh, spider. Touchdown. I do over this. I didn't need first thrust. Thinking about it. Seventy knots. All right, let's pull over spot. here. Pull over. Yeah, exit on the right, and there we go. Welcome to Barcelona. So I don't know what gate we're going to park up at. So even working. There it is. Right. Um. So just going to park up at the left right. there. So just going to park up at the terminal here. Um. APU on. What's that? But is that a static model? Pretty sure it is. After landing checklist. Yeah, it is. Exterior right. lights. <laughs> Full slide. Set off. Ground spoiler. That looks pretty good high quality. Yeah. Set off. AI. Engine mode selector. No. Check normal. The AI. Check retracted. They still haven't got it good. They still haven't got it looking good. Set. Brake temperature. Still Check. Looks shit. APU. No on. What Weather sort of radar. Power oh, fuck, supply. No. no matter Wind what shear. kind of add on you get, it still looks Both off. shit. But if you had HD textures and all the aircraft, it just would kill any PC. So I can't really blame the guys who developed the AI. Not the AI. Yeah, the AI. Because it would just kill someone's PC. Right. I'm just going to park up at the gate here. As we haven't got kind of parking guidance. That looks fine. Right, set the parking brake. And engine two off, engine one off. Okay, and right. the parking checklist. So let's get GSX. Uh, parking brake and jetways. chocks. Iberia. Chocks are set. Parking uh, brakes released. Jetway. Engine master. Both Constant off. Cabin okay, right. signs. Ground services connected. Set off. Exterior lights. AP master off. Oh shit. Set off. Set of power Anti -ice. <laughs> Just off. Anti-ice. Off. Set the power's aircraft. Fuel pumps. Aircraft power. <laughs> All good. Right. So, as soon as that jetway connects, we'll get the boarding. Let me look at my uh, landing rate. Complete flight. Okay, where's my landing rate? Does it not even... NA. What the fuck? Okay, was well, it so smooth? <laughs> couldn't even register it. My landing was so fucking buttons, it couldn't even register it. Okay, that's just, that's just, that makes me feel good. Right. So. That's all done, flight and everything. Don't know where I'll be flying next. I mean, I'm gonna get fed up of flying either the 777 or the 0320. I'm waiting for the quality wing 757 to release a thing for P3 D4. And I'm trying to get the 737 from PIM TG. Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching Jet2 guy. <laughs> and uh see you in the next video.